hi. Hopefully you can hear me. As you can see, I'm in a supply closet because why not mix it up? I want to give you a little variety besides the front seat of my car. Um, so, the title of this video is RDO's Legitimate Doctors. And obviously, if you've watched my videos, I go to an osteopathic school. So, um, of course I think they are, but I'm just gonna give a little background, I guess. I applied to 20 schools. I had my first interview at Loyola in Chicago and I had that in August. I was super excited because I was like, this has to be a good sign um, if I'm getting the first round of interviews. And I was excited to go to Chicago, obviously. So fast forward a couple of weeks, they waitlist me. I ended up being waitlisted right before the time I would need to start packing up my stuff and moving across the country. So it was a big learning experience because I really loved the school and it kept me on edge for so long in a period of high stress that I kind of just played with my emotions. I felt like a lot of that year I was not present. I also got an interview at UNLV Medical School. They also put me on the wait list for almost until that next summer. So, and by the way, Loyola and UNLV, they ended up not accepting me. My third interview, my third and final interview was um, the school that I'm at currently. I had mixed feelings in the beginning. I told myself that I really wanted to get out of the area that I was currently living in um, because I was still in the proximity of my uh, undergrad college and I just wanted to get out of the state and just explore, I don't know, explore a new environment. So. And it sounds so incredibly selfish, but um, when I was getting ready for that interview, I, I didn't feel like I put everything, my heart wasn't in it. I had driven past the school for five years now. Um, seen it on the freeway, on the signs, and so I guess maybe I was kind of desensitized to it, which was good in a way because I wasn't too nervous. There was also things going on at my job during the time I was struggling with my boss. We were really butting heads, um, and so it was also a job that I was struggling to make ends meet. It was basically just enough money to pay for my rent and then going into work. And it just, I wasn't in a good headspace. And I really missed out because of it. I, I missed out on the, the excitement of interviewing and the period of gratefulness for the opportunities that were just around the corner and in front of me. So as I say, I had an interview and almost a month after I interviewed, I got a call from my current school and they accepted me. And so I had this security in my back pocket almost right from the beginning that I was going to go somewhere. 
However, in the back of my mind, I was really hoping that Loyola would call me and it created, like I said, just some discontentment in a period of time where I, I should have been ecstatic. I'd waited for this for so long. Um, so, um, next thing I wanted to talk about is what is the DO? Um, what is the difference in terms of education? You are a fully certified physician. Um, you are able to prescribe medications. You're able to do any residency specialty that you'd like. You can apply for fellowships. You can apply for any fellowship after residency to subspecialize, but you get the added benefit of having an extra course on osteopathic manipulative medicine which is a treatment modality which focuses on a person's musculoskeletal system to treat underlying pathologies. It's very hands-on. You are physically moving tendons, ligaments, and bones to manipulate visceral organs. In my school, we had classes that taught the conceptual aspects of osteopathy and then we also had classes that taught us the hands-on treatment. So, and in addition, we have a OMM um, ro month rotation, which I'm actually doing next month. Besides the difference in curriculum, you also have a COMLEX board exam in place of the USMLE exam that MD schools um, mandate for their students. I ended up taking the COMLEX and the US USMLE, and, um, but that is not necessary depending on the specialty that you want to do. I am glad that I took both just based on looking at the residency programs that I want to go to there's still a strong preference for students who take the USMLE. We still have shelf exams, which are the monthly exams that you complete during your rotations. However, we call them COMAT exams, but they're essentially the same thing. Um, they just want to make sure that you're competent in the stuff that you learned over the four weeks or however long your rotations are in order to maintain some standardization my honest opinion of being an osteopath. It was difficult in school to get motivated and excited about OMM. The overall class attitude felt very pessimistic. It could be a number of reasons as to why we could have had a class that majority of the students didn't choose to become osteopaths, similar to my experience. There's the group think mentality where just the people who have negative opinions speak the loudest and, and it starts to seep in throughout the rest of the class. There was also an aspect at our school where maybe the professor sensed this attitude and instead of providing us with knowledge for us to form our own opinions about what we thought about it, they spent a lot of time giving stories and um, examples of how amazing osteopaths doctors have been in the community and in the hospitals and how they've, they've often saved lives, changed the quality of life for people. And not that that wasn't true, but it just felt almost forced. And so instead of driving us into being excited, it drove us more away because we were questioning why do you feel the need to 
talk it up. Why not let the theory and technique speak for themselves? That was just my opinion. So I felt for the past couple of years, it was a fight between trying to get motivated to learn it and trying to give it the respect it deserves while also being very doubtful. Going into my third year, I had an elective and we, for the electives, we get to choose anything that we want to do. And there was a rotation with a doctor near me who incorporates OMM into her, tr into her practice every day. And not liking my attitude for the past couple of years, I wanted to give it a try, see if I could gain a better understanding of what it is and how I could get out of this kind of rut. Even though most of my rotations have been with DO doctors, a majority of them do not practice OMM. I really gained a new perspective of OMM through her. She was able to diagnose and, and pinpoint exactly what was wrong with somebody by using her hands. And someone would come in with shoulder pain and I go in and think it's a rotator cuff injury or something to do with the shoulder and she would pinpoint it all the way back to the source which ended up being somewhere along the neck or the lower back and because of her knowledge with anatomy and where muscles originate and where they insert, how all of them move and which ones counteract the others, in addition to how she's able to feel things with her hands, what texture doesn't feel right. There wasn't a person who came in with a pain or ache somewhere on their body that she couldn't figure out why and how to make it better. And it was really cool to see a doctor not just prescribe pain medication, but to give treatments that they not only walked away from that session feeling better, but also had something to take home with them to work on. It was tangible, they understood the problem, and they had the ability to fix it or improve the pain. I can't tell you how many people I referred to her office after seeing her practice. She really, really amazed me. And to see people come in and just put so much trust in her because they knew if she didn't have an answer, she would figure it out. Um, but most of the time she knew, she knew right away. But she, she put in the work during school and you can tell that she was the kind of doctor in residency who took on the challenge and didn't run away from the harder cases because she wanted to be the best she could be for people. It certainly gave me a different perspective and made me feel so much better. I just have so much respect for her. And if I could be even close to the kind of doctor she is, I will be pretty content. So let me know if you have any questions. Hopefully I covered most things and happy new year.